Hello everyone, Dwayne the RV Inspector here again with another RV Quick Tip. And this Quick Tip is about how you can make quick and simple, easy meals using the Instant Pot in your RV travels. This is my wife Sherry. Hi guys. And she's going to show you how it's done. So I'll step behind the camera now and let her take over. Hey guys, I'm really excited to be able to share a recipe with you that Dwayne and I truly love. It's a very simple recipe, uh, very few ingredients. As you can see, there's only six ingredients that go into it. It's fast to do, extremely flavorful, and it's easy to cook and clean up after. So let me share with you what some of those ingredients are and how we're gonna put it together, and then we're gonna put it in the Instant Pot and go from there. First off, I start with a cup of water. This, I sometimes change it a little and I did it today. I put bouillon in it just to give it a little bit more flavor, but either one is fine. So a cup of fluid. Secondly, you have sausage. Today I'm using a summer sausage, like a kielbasa, but you can use any kind you want. I've used Cajun sausage, I've used andouille sausage and others. So really whatever sausage you enjoy, you can put it in there, very, very versatile. Obviously you're going to use some cubed potatoes, then you're going to have some fresh green beans. Um, sometimes if you don't have fresh green beans, you can use frozen. Uh, either one will do. I usually use fresh though. And then you have seasoning salt and your pats of butter. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put the, the fluid into the into pot first. Then I'm going to layer the sausage, the potatoes, and the green beans, and then I'm going to repeat that twice afterwards. Put on a couple teaspoons of seasoning salt and put the butter on top. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that and check back with you, in with you for in just a minute or two and you can see what it looks like before we get it started. So Sherry has put all the ingredients in and as she said she layered them and there you see on the top all the seasonings and the butter. Now the question is what happens next? So tell us what we do now, Sherry. Well, it's very simple, Dwayne. You just put the top onto the Instapot, you turn it, make sure your vent is on, then you're going to go to the front of the pot. You're going to push pressure cook, and then you're going to set it for two minutes. It's already set for two minutes there, but you set it for two minutes. Just so you know, if you use a russet potato, you're going to need another minute or so on it. As you can see, it reset itself, so now it's going to start to heat up. So we are going to check back in after it's heated up, cooked for two minutes, and then has depressurized by about, by about five minutes. We'll check and see what we got for food. Well, Dwayne, the Instant Pot's all done now. It took it about 14 minutes to pressure up, took two minutes to cook it, and now it has taken about five minutes for it to depressurize and I've left, let the rest of the steam out of the vent. So let's open this up and see what it looks like, okay? Sounds good. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. See, it looks pretty good. And all you gotta do is you just gotta take it and you stir it up. As you can see, everything is cooked. All the flavors mingled together. And what you can do is you can take this, you can serve it just like it is, or you can serve it with bread or with small salad, whatever your family enjoys. But I think, see, we've gone all through all the work to make this, we ought to eat it. What do you think? I totally agree. I can't wait. Sounds good. Well, that's it for now. Have safe, happy, and delicious travels, my friends. Until next time.